This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Schools around the country will be disrupted next month as the teachers' union takes action against funding cuts. The Education Minister today apologised for the confusion surrounding the budget policy and says capping teacher losses at two will cost between $10 and $20 million a year. Hekia Parata says that money will come from a contingency fund. Nicole Bremner reports. The pride of Green Meadows Intermediate lit up the first day of the National Intermediate Principals Conference. And the work of one of Green Meadows' brightest and best year eights was proudly presented to the Education Minister. But hang on a minute, aren't Art and Kapahaka some of the specialty subjects that may be forced to shed teachers? We're going to have to make a decision about which specialist groups will be able to be kept. The Minister agrees it's a tough call for schools and today said sorry for initial confusion over exactly what funding cuts will mean for intermediates. I'm very sorry that, that parents and schools have had this level of anxiety. But the principals aren't buying it, despite the Minister now promising no school will lose more than two staff in the next three years. We just don't know what to do. They're not listening. We're still left with some very difficult decisions to make. More of the same and um, still disappointed with our attitude. It all made for a tense mood at the National Conference, but the government's holding its line. Yes, they are tough choices. They are tough choices at government level and they are tough choices at school levels. Right now, though, no one can tell this shy young artist what the cutbacks might mean to her future dream. To be an architect, like designing buildings. The minister doubts art extension classes will be a casualty. I would be very surprised if a school decided to do that. But there are no guarantees and real concern that the cost of a performance like this may just be too great for some schools in the not too distant future. Nicole Bremner, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.